Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another server admin tutorial or bucket spigot plugin tutorial. If you're joining me for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button because I do these every week. If you have a suggestion of one you'd like me to do, feel free to comment that in Jibbles below and I will give you a shout out when I get around to it. And if you find this video helpful, please leave a like because it helps me out for helping you guys out. And this is actually made by Venom Eater 552 and was requested by Pistol Plays, Deathwish PVP, Silver Gaming, Resi, AC Sergeant, spelt incorrectly, DD39526, Minecraft, and Mafia PVP. Thank you guys so much for suggesting simple crates. This is a super simple crate plugin. I've done a lot of crate plugins in the past. They are very popular. This is a free one with some uh, additions coming down later on that you can pay for, which is really cool. Really cool idea by the author. Really simple. It works in 1.8 and 1.9, but keep in mind that if you're using 1.8 or 1.9, the reference sounds and a lot of the references have changed between the two, so be sure that you're using the correct references depending on the version of Minecraft that you're using. Keep that in mind. So the permissions, really simple. Crates.crates, .crates, that's it. If they don't have that, they're not going to be able to open crates or do anything like that. So you need to do have them do that. Uh, commands are really easy too. So we got crates and then it has a list of all the stuff that you have. The first thing you can do is set a crate. So we're going to do that crates set example. This is by default comes out of the box like this. So looking at the location, it's going to do that. There's only two blocks by default that work, but you can configure it to be whatever you want. So um these are the two blocks. I don't think we really need to set that up. We'll keep that for the tutorial here. And then you can unset it by just looking at the same time and uh, same do thing and do unset, which is great. Now you can give uh, keys. So we're going to do crates, give player, which is me. Um, and then we're going to do example and then the amount. So we're going to give myself eight. There we go, we have eight keys. Now before we even open the crate, we can left click. You can actually disable this GUI for those of you who do not like GUIs. You can go ahead and disable this, but it's gonna show you the stuff that you can win. It's not gonna show you any of the odds or anything, which is kind of unfortunate, but um, you can probably make that in the lore as well if you wanna do that, because you can modify all that. You can modify this name. That's all done in the configuration. We're gonna take a look at it. There's not much you can do in game. So we're gonna right click and says that a thousand's been opened. That was a 50-50 chance for that one. The other one is a diamond, which we just won there. You can see it broadcasted. It sent the player a message as well as giving them the item and the money that is there. That is it. Let's jump over the configuration and show you guys how to set up your own crate. All right, so here we are in our server. You can see that we are running 1.92 actually, and we're gonna jump into the plugins folder and you can see that we've run uh, crates. Jar. You probably need to run Vault, although that's not explicitly said, but you need to run Vault in order to tie in with your economy. And then uh, we're gonna open up our crates folder here. You have your language uh, file so you can you can change all of uh, that one. We're gonna delete that one. So you can change all the color codes, the words, all that stuff. You can make it for your language or you could just make it your own verbiage for your server. It's great, I love it when they do that. And then you have your global settings. Not a whole lot in here, but you can disable that GUI. By default, it's disabled. So this is set to false. You can just switch it true or false and do a crates reload uh, on the console to get that back going. So then add-ons is going to be something for later on uh, where the author is going to offer different kinds of crates in there. So we're going to open up crates. And now each YML file is its own crate. By default, all you have is example. We'll go over how to create a new one in here. So here's all the stuff. We're not really going to do anything with that right now. What we are going to do is copy. So control C, control V, and then hit F2. And then we're going to call this one tutorial. I'm not sure if it's case sensitive, but it probably is. So just keep that in mind when you're making this. We're going to open this up and we can change anything in here. So we're going to tutorial, tutorial. And then you can change the material that's used for this key if you want to change whatever. Um, so we're going to go, hello, tubes. And then in here, you can say, uh, open a tutorial crates tutorial crates now here is the reward section of it now here's kind of a key thing in this um, first of all that each one of these can run multiple commands depending on the reward you don't uh, you can't put 
the commands on the same line so you can't just do this and then uh, do that and start putting in more commands you have to actually put in command one command two for that command um, under that reward it doesn't have to be unique for for uh, all the rewards but it has to be unique for that reward so you can't have multiple uh, command ones and command twos under this command but you can see down here we have the command one command two for the other reward so this is sample this reward is called sample you can name it whatever you want as long as it's unique and then you can see that it gives player one diamond and then it broadcasts to everybody in the server that the player has got one diamond so you can also use this to run any kind of custom commands if you're using like token enchants custom enchants or uh, any kind of prison plugins they can run any kind of commands in here and then you can use player to substitute for when the player is the target you can delay it on here too which I'm not sure what it, if it's in ticks or seconds I'm gonna assume seconds but I'll annotate that if it's different and then the chance is 50 now here's kind of the key for each reward that you get for each crate it, the chance all the chances have to add up to a hundred so if I want to add another one which is what we're gonna do and then we'll keep talking about this. So we want to copy this. And then we're going to put this in here. And then so we want to keep this in mind that this is going to be on the same level of that. And we're going to call this one to two, uh, uh, We're going to call this one Diamond Sword here. And then the command is going to be give player uh, diamond sword one you have to do one we're using the essential commands for give this one we're gonna do sharpness 10 knock back 10 durability 10 now for this to work you have to enable unsafe enchantments in your essentials keep that in mind then we're gonna do name tutorial we're gonna call it that and then uh, has one in OP sword and then so we're gonna make this chance 20 and then so we have to adjust these to be 30 30 and 30 so then 30 plus 30 is 60 and actually then this needs to be 40 I know math so there we go uh, so now for the GUI for what's gonna show up in here so we want to make the item to be the 276 which is a diamond sword name OP sword when uh, so you can even do in here um, you could even change this lore to be 40% of 100 to win OP sword or whatever you want it to be whatever that you want them to see if you're doing this so then the enchants here is gonna use the enchantment IDs so zero is protection and then four is the level four and then I don't remember off the top of my head which one and two is but we'll see that here and then the amount is if you want it to show up in stacks or whatever that can be in here if you don't have an enchantment on there you could still have the item glow or uh, by hit setting this to true if you set this to true and it already has enchantments it doesn't do anything so then the chance UI we're gonna change that to be tutorial so you guys can see that to, or we're gonna change that to causeforchrist.com might as well now you can you can enable or disable fireworks when they open it up you can do all the different effects of that firework you have particles mob type uh, sound keep in mind depending on 1.8 or 1.9 the sound reference is different and then you could change the knockback where if they do not have the key so we're gonna go ahead and save that and then uh, we'll get back into the game and show you guys this uh, example that we set up okay so here we are back in the game where you're gonna do uh, crates reload and then we're gonna do crates set tutorial and there we go and then we're gonna do crates give house of Christ tutorial and then we'll do eight and there we go one a thousand and then there is our sword op sword you can see we got the sharpness knockback on breaking all that stuff which is really cool and we could set it to any block that we want and that's pretty much it there's not much you can do in the game to set up your crates which is kind of unfortunate but it's super flexible to set it up outside of it i highly recommend that you use notepad plus plus for editing those yml files but it is 
endless what you can do in there. So hopefully this video was helpful. Please leave a like and let me know what you guys thought of that. If you run into any problems, feel free to comment on the author's page. He'll be able to help you out. He's super active in updating this plugin. This is Kaz reminding you guys all, enjoy the game. God bless. Hey friends, thank you so much for watching the video and thank you for so much for all the support that you guys have been giving me. It is amazing. Just wanted to raise awareness. I have started a Patreon page. Link is in the jibbles or um, find it somewhere. It's Patreon slash Cause for Christ. And uh, go check it out and help me keep doing what I'm doing in uh, supporting you guys and helping you guys with your servers. Uh, so help support me in my life and the work that I do. So thank you guys so much. Or just watch, share, subscribe, like, comment, all that stuff. That is a great way to support as well. Thank you guys so much.